Hey, what's up, guys? This is Kajigari 86 here. Ah, jumping straight into, let's play Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for Sega Genesis. Ah, uh, yes. Feel the nostalgia. Immediately, like right away, you can definitely kind of have a feel for <laughs> the immense speed that you can get in this game versus a, uh, let's say, <laughs> a Mario game. Ah, uh, yes. Blast processing. Gen <laughs> Sega Genesis is what Nintendo don't. <laughs> oh god, that's, that's such an overused joke, but um... Um, yeah, so, this, I just got the simulator actually. Um, the ROM, that, and let's play a Link to the Past, I'm doing that as well. Um, I'm gonna start that like right after this one, I'm gonna start that, so it's gonna be pretty awesome. Um. Still working on some other emulators that have some compatibility issues, you know, but they'll come in time. Yeah, as you can see, you can't go back um, past a certain point if you're near the goal post. So yeah, I want to get points. <laughs> Redo! Ah, uh, yes. Alright, so this is a special stage. Uh, where you can collect these stones called the Chaos Emeralds, which absolutely have no value at all um, in this game, that is. Um, <laughs> once you hit Sonic 2 and on, you start to see some value in them. But the only thing they serve in this game is a true ending uh, gimmick, so, you know. Um, I guess I will try to get them all, um, see, I think there's only six of them in this game, but the standard number of Chaos Emeralds in the Sonic universe is seven, but there have been times where there's only six, or there's, um, eight, so, inconsistency on Sega's part, but that's perfectly fine, um, not complaining, so, yeah. As you can see, you get a lot of speed in this game, which is awesome. God, Mario can never do that. <laughs> oh, there I go, comparing comparing the two again. Um, as you can see, I'm... Well... I'm not sure. I can't say if I'm a actual... Um... More of a Sonic fan than I am a Mario fan, but I like them both equally because generally I start playing them around the same time, both of them. So I can't say that I like one more than the other, but I do like the way that Sonic controls better than um, Mario. <laughs> you just get more. Uh, oh my God! Yes, yeah. If you jump at the right time, you can actually. Um, if you jump at the right time from off the screen, you can actually knock it control lock. Um, usually it does that. But, uh, sometimes these special stages can be pretty douchebaggish. Um, they like to... Like that. <laughs> uh, do keep in mind that I'm using a uh, keyboard. And, uh, using a keyboard because this is an emulator. I really do need to go out and get a controller, uh, <laughs> so I can't use that as an excuse anymore. But, um, for the most part, I love the Genesis controllers. It's, you know, so smooth, um, very playable. Um, the Super Nintendo and regular Nintendo controllers weren't too bad, but... I don't know. Um, I would say that the Genesis controller had a better layout than the uh, Super Nintendo, since that's the console that I was uh, trying to compare itself to at the time. Um, <sighs> both being 16 bit and all, so. And I'm not quite sure what those numbers are at the bottom left of the screen, uh, yeah, I got 40, what? My life count is constantly changing. <laughs> so, uh, well, 
what am I doing? There's actually a gap I could just like jumped over. Ah, uh, take the slow, slow method, but uh, yeah, I just got the simulator, so I'm still trying to configure some things, um, controls and such. I could have gotten invincibility for this too. Oh well, I'll fight him normally. So yeah, this douchebag here is called Dr. Robotnik. Um, basically he's... Wow, that was a fell jump, okay. Uh, basically he's, uh, Dr. Dr. Robotnik, he is, um, the... The enemy of Sonic, I guess? Um... What and say, like, how he actually met? I'm not quite up and up on my Sonic, uh... God, why am I... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked by this guy. <laughs> what the heck? The first boss. <laughs> um, uh, basically, um, he's trying to encapture these animals here and turn them into robots to work for him. And it's Sonic's job to set them free. Um, so I guess naturally they just became enemies, but, uh, Anyway, that was the um, first episode, um, one zone per day, so I'll see you guys later, and this has been the debut of Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 1.